Chapter 8 Disperse it and be frugal. Most of the huge expenses are at the beginning of the academic year. Purchase books as you require them. This will spread out expenses. Do not forget to check into prices from online bookstores. They might give you a better deal than the campus bookstore. Purchase used books if possible. Ways to be frugal. Being frugal is a good way to make it through college. However, it doesn't need to stop there. Living frugal is a way of believing that represents a particular mental attitude and respect towards money. Break down where you are able to cut costs. Put monthly spending allowances on paper so you are able to hold yourself to a, your budget. If you must, you can have an envelope of hard cash for different things like groceries, gifts, amusement, etc. When the cash from the envelope is gone, then you can't spend any more money that month unless you take money from a different envelope. It may take a couple of months to discover a comfortable but slightly strict budget and get used to it. You can't be frugal without coupons. Always utilize coupons when you are able to. Check into the local thrift store or local consignment shops for better quality items. You can even take all your old and unused items to the consignment shops to make money also. If you are in need of a particular item like a bookshelf, telephone your local consignment shop and let them know what you're seeking. A few of these shops are happy to let you know if they have what you're looking for so you don't waste gas and time going to the store yourself and will even keep your request on file so that when one item does come in they'll call you and let you know. Be energy efficient. Not only does being energy efficient help you in being frugal but it helps the environment also. Discover how to cook. Being able to bake and cook from scratch may save you a ton of money in the kitchen and is really healthier for you anyway. A can of soup goes from one to three dollars and serves possibly one to two individuals. You are able to make your own soup to feed eight individuals for the same amount. If you don't have that many individuals to feed, you are able to just make half of the recipe or freeze the leftovers. Chapter 9 Ask for Help It's very hard to say I'm in trouble and I need two thousand dollars or I spent my student loan money. Build up some courage and phone home. The longer you put it off, the worse matters get. Do it right. Most of us need financial help at one time or some other in our lives. Whether you're going through a difficult time, there are some crucial points to remember when calling for financial help. People are often willing to help you if you're able to distinctly define your real need. This might be help with a car payment or grocery money. Possibly require some money to purchase some books or supplies. If you're clear about what you require, this helps to keep your request focused. Keep a sense of humbleness. Regardless of how frustrated you are with your conditions, don't let it become a chip on your shoulder. Don't make demands or suppositions that everybody must help you. It's okay to be scared, frustrated, or saddened by conditions. But don't direct this at the person you are asking for help, particularly if they're not able to help you. Explain how you're prepared to alter your circumstances. A plan with goals conveys you're working your way up, not spiraling down further. Individuals don't want to feel you're requesting an infinite amount of help with no end in sight. Thank people for their time. If somebody can't help you, don't assume they don't want to. Being gracious for anything you receive, even if it's just an ear, may lead to help coming from another source. Always send a thank you note and offer what help you are able to in return for any help you received. Wrapping up. A lot of college students are getting into serious debt that has little to do with their training and much to do with their lifestyle and the use of student charge cards or student loan money to pay for primary expenses. Who knew that you'd still be paying back your pizza tab 10 years after you graduate? Frequently, the excitement and sense of achievement that come from finishing your degree and beginning in the job of your choice are dulled by the discouraging realization that your student charge card debts and student loans are going to eat up all your disposable income and then some. It's a true drag to work full time making a real salary and not be able to afford a decent car, furnishings for your apartment, a select wardrobe for your work, or the latest electronic appliance. Use the tips in this book to stay financially on track while in college.